In 2007, the decision was granted that London was to host the Olympics for 2012. With the Olympics costing the taxpayer over £1.5 billion, will they bring lasting benefits to local people and not just to big businesses? What does hosting the Olympics mean to you? I was real, I was real proud when we won the Olympics because it's local and nothing really big ever really goes on around here. How do you see East London 10 years from now? Stratford is going to get expensive. It's going to be a difficult place to live in. I would say it would be a major tourist attraction, a, a big tourist attraction. And I think we can take the focus out of West London and bring it to East. The poor are just going to be poor whilst the richer get richer. Arts London News wanted to investigate further by talking to Julian Chain, a campaigner and contributor of the Games Monitor website. Can you explain a bit about the Games Monitor website? I mean, we make no apologies. We are a um, critical website. We have very little time for the Olympics. We don't think it's a project that's of uh, any great value, uh, especially looking at it in terms of London. And so we regard ourselves as people who, well, we're a group that um, is debunking, as we put it, the myths of the Olympics. Have you and others that you know been affected by the regeneration plans? Yeah, well, I mean, I was living on the Olympic Park at a place called Clay. It's an estate which was demolished to make way for the Olympics. So, yes, I've been personally affected and a friend who stays in the house, who lives in this house with me as well. It was a productive area, but now it's completely written off as being a rubbish tip, a wasteland, derelict. Mr Higgins called it a scar. Jason Pryor was giving a talk and he said, well, we couldn't have done this in West London because we had come, on, come up against too much opposition. You have to find a place where it can be done and it can be done in East London. East London is an impoverished area. It doesn't have the same resistance. People are not involved in politics and so on in the same way as they are in other parts of London. What does hosting the Olympics mean to you? Hosting the Olympics, to my mind, just simply means handing over a large amount of money to the IOC to run a, a um, an event for three or four weeks, which is of very little benefit to anybody. Um, things which are considered to be unsightly are boarded up and hidden away so that the uh, visitors who are or the dignitaries who are going to come to these events don't see them. Um, it, it's a, a, a process, sort of a kind of cleansing. Do you think local communities will benefit from the Olympics being held in Stratford? Well, no, I don't. Um, you see, some people will benefit. Don't get me wrong. There will be benefits. The land will be transferred from one set of owners to another set of owners. So there will be people who will come in who will benefit. In the case of Barcelona, for example, one of the consequences of the Olympics was that the Docklands area of Barcelona was redeveloped, which meant the removal of 50,000 people and the creation of a new community or a new development in that space for another lot of people. How do you see East London 10 years from now? I think that the impact of the Olympics is going to be quite, is, is not going to be very great in the long term. The hosting site in Athens from 2004 is left unused and wasted, whilst the Canadian host of 1976 is still paying off its Olympic debt. Will these Olympic venues be of use to the area once the 16-day event is over and forgotten?